Hello everybody, I've got a couple different Zoom meeting updates that I think you're gonna love. Uh, first one is gonna be the ability to, like you're seeing here, to use video as a background for a green screen. So the video that you're seeing back behind me now, I uploaded that, got it set up as a new feature and I'll show you how you can update your Zoom in a moment. Number two is, you can now also set up through their app marketplace to have your recordings go directly to a Google Drive. So that's huge for saving you uh, time transferring it over and money not having to pay for the extra storage space. And then number three is the, the new Zoom phone number system. So first and foremost, in Zoom. Now, this is the big version, but if this is probably what it looks more like to everybody else. If you come into here to check if you need to do the update, you're gonna click on your picture, and you're gonna go down to check for updates. Through here, if you haven't done an update, it's gonna tell you, and it will start to download it, and then you'll be able to go through and do the installation. You can also click on release notes, of course, and it will tell you um, all the new things that are great and fancy and wonderful. Once that's done, you'll be able to then access inside of Zoom itself here. We'll go choose virtual background. And then through here, if I click on the plus, I can now go add image or video. As you can see, I've got two different videos here. And you would just same way, add video. It's going to tell you to upload something. It needs to be an MP4, and it can't be too long is what I think I've basically found so far. Um, having the green screen is going to make it much more uh, crisp. It's going to be very crisp, and you do want to have good lighting, of course, if you're going to try to do this stuff. Um, now, additionally, though, if we were to come back out of here, let's get our main panel up. The other thing I was telling you about is the record having your recordings go straight to your uh, Google Drive. Now the easiest way I know how to get to this is to basically go into my chat and then I've got apps at the bottom here. I'm going to click on the plus sign. That's going to open up a brand new window that is going to take us to the Zoom app marketplace. And from here, we want to click off either meetings or webinars because that's the apps that will work for those specific things and then go to recordings. So what this will do is now you'll see these are different places you can actually uh, toss your recordings to directly, such as YouTube. But here I've got my team drive for Zoom or Google Drive for Zoom. And what I've done is we should have here my Zoom recordings in my special G Suite account. I've got this set up. Uh, where it maps in, it creates a new folder every time and then puts the videos in there or all the file pieces. So I'll click on this. Hello everybody, I am recording this video just to show you that you can record videos and throw them into your Google Drive now. So here you go. Yay! So depending on how you have your recordings set up, it will do all of your dating, everything else. Uh, this was one I did earlier. Um, it will give you all the different file types. So if you've asked it to do different recording types, it's going to do all of that for you as well, which is great. So that really, again, can help you reduce uh, when you record to the cloud, it takes up more data plan, right? But you get better recordings. You can do multiple layer recordings if you're doing, you know, a lot of video editing, which is awesome. Now, the last setting I told you I was going to talk about is actually this new phone capability. Currently, we've been using Dialpad for quite some time, about two and a half years or so, but I wanted to find out what this is like. So I've actually gone in and set this up um, with uh, Zoom. You can set up multiple users. It basically it appears that it's $15 a month for unlimited US and Canada calling. You can get a new phone number or you can port your numbers in. And once you've done this, you can also, of course, do your own customizations and such. So I can set up how I want the calls to be handled, whether it's going to ring, what devices it will ring, either simultaneously or in order. So if I wanted to ring like a phone, desk phone first, I can do that and I can add on a Polycom phone or a couple different types. A Yay Link is another one. Um, then I can also do my own like voicemails. You reached the voicemail from Matthew Fulton. I'm sorry, my name. Um, you can do your own, own on hold music. 
You can choose to block calls without caller ID, especially nowadays with all the spam calls and such. Uh, voicemail, of course, as well, automatically have call recording. Be careful, certain states require that you make sure people know before you start recording a call just to be safe. Um, or you can have it set to where you can choose if you want to by clicking a button to record. Um, so I may be running this part in tandem with Dialpad to kind of check them both out and see how it works uh, and see about the quality. But what we wanted to do was take the time to basically show you guys these new great features and hopefully they help you out. So if you've got some questions, reach out as always. As we always say, here's wishing you all a very successful week.